Hi, this is Mr. Standridge. I wanted to give you some instruction on how to log in Google Classroom if you've never done that before. Now, the first thing you need to do is download the app. I'm going to go to self-service to download the app because I'm on a student iPad. But if you were at home, you would just go to the App Store and download the app. You can download it on Android or uh, on your Apple iOS. I'm going to type in Google Classroom. Now don't get this mixed up with Classroom. Classroom is actually an Apple product. We are downloading Google Classroom. I'm gonna install it. It'll take a few seconds. Once it has installed, I'm going to open the app. Okay, now that the app has downloaded, I'm going to click on the icon. Make sure it's the chalkboard icon and not the orange icon. And I am going to get started. I'm gonna use a student account to show you how to do that. I'm going to add another account. The account I'm going to sign up with. In order to sign up, you need to put in the email address of the student. This isn't a real email address that they can get email from. It's an address that we just use for signing up for Google products. And to do that, you need to put your student's ID. If you don't know your student's ID, please get in touch with your teacher. They do know that. And then at GPISD stu the stu stands for student dot org you can't just use a personal gmail account a personal gmail account won't use all the functionality google classroom is only made for schools so they have to have a school account and the password for everyone is uppercase g p i s d and then the zip code, which is 75052. Again, that's uppercase G-P-I-S-D 75052. Then hit next. You need to agree, accept the terms. And then you have to identify yourself as a teacher or a student. Please pick student, otherwise it will not work correctly. Choose allow. And now you're in. If you've been enrolled in any classes, they will show up on this screen. But that is how you log in to Google Classroom. Here are some other apps that you might want to download that teachers often use with Google Classroom. Google Docs, which is like Word. Google Slides, which is uh, Google's version of PowerPoint. And also Google Sheets, which is their version of Excel. Thank you.